Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I was tagged by Jen Evers to answer the questions for Crafters Confidential Tag, which was started by May May Made It and Melody Lane. I really like this tag actually because there's only 15 questions and it's all about crafting. So let me begin um, with the first question. Most expensive crafting tool I use on a regular basis. And I think a lot of people are answering their cutters, like their big shots and things like that, but I actually don't use mine very often because it just is such a hassle for me to bring it all out and, I don't know, it's like a mental block. Um, so I would say I think my Copic markers, which I've just bought in the last month or so, and I'm really enjoying coloring, as you can see here and here. Um, so in the aggregate, I guess the Copic markers are the most expensive least expensive tool that I use on a regular basis, I would say it's my little uniball pen. Um, and this one was a giveaway from a company. Um, but you know you can get these at Staples and I use them all the time for my drawing. Um, I probably should draw with a pencil first, but I don't. I just draw with my pen. And I really like that. It's a really nice thin crisp line. The oldest item that I've made that someone or myself still has and that would be my dad's 70th birthday album which I did about 10 years ago and I had never done scrapbooking before that was the first big project that I'd ever done and I just did it from beginning to end it took me about a month to do and I reflected my dad's whole life up to that point including through his birthday when we all had a family vacation together so I took pictures and then did like a little appendix and added on pages um, showing him actually opening up the scrapbook album. It was kind of funny. Um, the next question is, crafting tool that was a waste of money. I don't think anything was a waste of money. I've used everything. I'm really careful about the things that I buy. I'd say maybe the product that I was least impressed with, but I didn't know any better, was my Creative Memories paper trimmer, but I don't use it anymore. And in fact, I've thrown it away. It's a blue thing. They don't. I don't even think the company exists anymore. But it, it used to give like a raggedy edge <laughs> if you didn't change the blades out often enough and um, I couldn't find the blades. So then the crafting tool that was the best bargain, um, yeah, I guess I would say this like free pen. <laughs> um, and like I said, you can buy those at Staples too for really inexpensive like 12 packs. Um, the best storage idea that I've implemented I am not a good storage keeper. I'm I'm organized in my head, but I'm not organized like, you know, where I just don't have that much space. That's really the problem. So, and the next question is the worst storage idea I've implemented. And it's really, I just put things in drawers. I have three drawers at my crafting space and I just put everything in. I kind of have an idea of where like the glue goes, you know, all the adhesives are in a bucket at the top. Um, the trimmers, the you know folders, those kinds of things are at the top, and then my um, embellishments and flowers are in the middle drawer, and then my papers, um, heavier things are in the bottom drawer. That's really it. Um, we have a temporary living situation here right now, so I just haven't invested in better storage solutions. Um, my most viewed YouTube craft video is actually, I think, within the first week of when I started YouTube crafting on August 4th, I put up a tutorial for making a sunburst card, um, and I haven't even looked at it since then, but I checked my records, my YouTube records, and I think that has like over 600 views. Um, so, you know, I've only been on YouTube for about seven months, so I don't have tons of tons of viewership, <laughs> um, and it's kind of embarrassing that it's one of the first things I did. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that's embarrassing. I just know. It's silly. Um, my least viewed YouTube craft video is probably done on the same day. I <laughs> showed um, a cell phone holder that I, like, you know, decorated up and gave to Priscilla Devalle, who's so, so sweet. She accepted it, and she's so sweet. I, I'm, like, embarrassed by it now, um, but... <laughs> She says her son really liked it, and he took it in his room, and he, you know, liked it, and I was so, like, thankful. Uh, Priscilla is a sweetheart. The next, let's see, biggest crafting mishap. What project did you try that just didn't cut it? And I guess it would be that. <laughs> it would be that 
phone holder. Um, and you know, the problem is, is that I did not understand what altering meant on YouTube crafting. I thought that meant you had to change something, um, like make a bottle into a letter holder or, you know, but I now realize that altering just means like decorating extensively <laughs> or can mean that. Anyway, so that's the biggest mishap, I think. Item items that I stuck up on every time I, or almost every time I go to the craft store. I don't really go to the craft store that often. Um, I don't shop that much. I use what I have and I make do and that's probably also part of the problem with some of my early videos because I had very few crafting supplies. I lived in Manhattan and we didn't really have craft stores so it was it was a tricky situation um, and I was just new to it. Let's see, favorite non-craft store place to buy supplies and I have to say it's the Home Depot. I get my caulk there, this is the bathroom caulk, sorry I'm turning it upside down kitchen and bath adhesive caulk. It's a latex and I use that in my mixed media with stencils. I got my craft, my um, X-Acto knife and my replacement blades there. It's, I think they have great prices and for those kind of non-traditional things, um, they're great. Craft you wish you could do but can't. Um, well, I wish I could currently crochet but I haven't done it since I was a kid and I know I can do it, but I just I can't do it physically right now. The other craft that I'd really like to try is quilling. Um, Mel, whose paper speaks here on YouTube, showed a beautiful quilled star like snowflake like ornament uh, over the holidays, and I just I fell in love. So I'd love to learn how to do that. What's next on my craft tool wish list? Um, I really need a new hot glue gun. I had one, and the glue sticks for it, they don't make anymore, it's the oval sticks, um, so I had to get a new one, and I got one, and this new one just drips all the time, so it drives me crazy. So if anybody has a recommendation for a not too expensive glue gun with a fine tip nozzle, I didn't even know that that existed, but I would love to have one with a fine tip nozzle. If you could put a suggestion in the description box below, I would love it. Um, what made me start a YouTube channel? Um, I was in a scrap room, myscraproom.ning.com chat room, and Jen Evers asked me, you know, what was my YouTube channel, and I didn't even know what she was talking about. Um, I just started in that um, my scrap room, uh, you know, website, and uh, I didn't even know this existed. So I checked it out while I was in the chat room, and. Uh, she told me what her channel was and I think I wanted to comment on something so and it doesn't let you comment unless you have an account so I started my channel and then I posted my first videos probably a day or so later or maybe even that day I don't know um, I should have taken my time more um, but I didn't I just you know I just jumped in um, <laughs> some of you folks really like investigate YouTube and watch videos for a really long time and then start making YouTube videos. I just started like the next day probably. Um, anyway, that's it. Those are the 15 questions and I would love to tag Sybil B and Candace Scarborough to do this co Crafters Confidential and I'll leave in the description box below all the questions and anybody else who wants to participate. I think this is a really great tag. Um, simple, not too lengthy and uh, all about crafting. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.